After the first American case of the deadly virus was confirmed, Canadian health experts warned it was only a plane ride away. Tonight, there are fears it may already be here. Remember the SARS epidemic? Well, the MERS virus is in the same family. It likely originated in camels. No one knows exactly how it spread, but in about one third of cases, it's fatal. Since 2012, nearly 150 people died out of more than 500 confirmed cases. It has spread from the Middle East to Europe and Asia. And now, U.S. authorities are warning American travelers about the virus after two U.S. cases in about two weeks. The latest, like the first, originated in Saudi Arabia. After working in a hospital treating MERS patients, a Saudi man got on a plane to visit family in Florida. And while on the plane, he started to have some um, muscle aches. That was his first symptom. Now they fear the 44-year-old Saudi citizen may have passed the virus on to the healthcare workers who first treated him, including a doctor who then traveled to Canada. It all happened before the proper isolation precautions were uh, initiated. A hospital spokesperson told me the doctor traveled to Canada before he or she knew about the patient's positive MERS test and is now taking all proper precautions. He said the doctor so far is showing no symptoms but will be tested for MERS. He wouldn't give me any more details about the doctor, including where he or she is right now, but the Canadian infectious disease specialists I spoke with said even if MERS did cross the border, most of us needn't panic. I would actually be surprised if we don't have an imported case or two. Dr. Mary Verncombe was in charge of infection control during the SARS outbreak. Even though MERS is related, it's much less contagious. And healthcare workers learn from SARS, she says. If they come across a patient showing symptoms of a respiratory disease, they'll put on the proper equipment to stop the virus from spreading. A mask, some eye protection, gown and gloves. But despite all the protocols of a modern American hospital, MERS did spread. Infectious disease specialist Dr. Michael Gardam says that's because healthcare workers are only human and don't always follow procedure. So we're constantly asking people to ask for travel histories, but um, sadly they don't always get asked 100% of the time. Should the average Canadian worry? Experts say probably not, but eventually our healthcare system will be tested. Mistakes happen as we just saw in Florida. Kim Brunhuber, CBC News, Toronto.